Welcome to the A to Z of learning English. Thanks for joining us. G is for gist, and gist is the main or general meaning of a piece of writing or conversation. Understanding the gist is something that you do naturally in your native language every day. It's how we make complex ideas simple. The gist is what allows our brains to make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. However, when it comes to English, students sometimes underline every word in a text or write down everything from a listening exercise. This is not really helpful because the purpose is not to remember every single word, but just to understand the gist. In your native language, you're able to understand the main ideas quite easily. Because you understand the gist. In fact, after a sentence of just seven or eight words, humans find it very difficult to remember sentences exactly. That's in their native language, and especially in English. So remember, the main idea, the gist, is much more important than the details. When you're reading a text or having a conversation, it's really easy to start drowning in the details. I mean. Think about how easy it is to get lost if you're too focused on every word or too focused on this new grammar pattern. Try to take a minute, step back, and look at the bigger picture. What is the person or author trying to communicate? What's the main idea? What should I be taking away from this interaction? Education, and especially English education, is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. And I hope you'll understand that getting the gist of a conversation, getting the gist of a reading, is training your mind to think.